everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to the Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, according to my level list, it says that for the False Dragon Titan Pokemon, or, uh, yeah, Titan Pokemon, I should be level 48. For the Fairy Crew, for the, like, team... Team Star Team whatever Fairy Group, I should be level 50. And for the Fighting Crew, I should be level 55. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to go ahead and... I'm going to go to Sakurat Trail and catch a Pokemon over there. Then, I am going to... Depending on what level we are at that point, attempt to catch one at Casa Royal Lake. And then I'm going to level not all of my Pokemon, maybe all of my Pokemon, um, or maybe just a couple, like six or whatever, um, to level 55. Then we're going to go bam, False Dragon, Fairy Crew, Fighting Crew, bam. Then we're going to catch the rest of our Pokemon um, for the areas that we can catch, and then. I'm going to be playing for a couple hours off camera and get everybody up to level 66, which according to this is the estimated recommended level for the Elite Four. I don't know how many more episodes this is going to be because, I mean, I'm going to go catch maybe two Pokemon. Sakurat Trail guaranteed, maybe Castle Royal Lake as well. But I'm going to catch like two Pokemon, then pause the episode, go level up, and then probably do the false dragon titan in this episode um maybe do the fairy titan crew as well depending on how long the false dragon titan takes me i don't know but like that's not that much left that's not that much left and i know that there's other story stuff after the elite four i know that but like are we looking at possibly wrapping up pokemon scarlet in this month, the month of November, that I'm definitely not recording this in. I don't know. Who knows? Um, oh, well, I guess we will be guaranteed to catch two, uh, two Pokemon in this episode because we got to go catch our, our Titan Pokemon, our Donphan. It's Donphan, right? That's That was... No, it, it's the evolution, so it probably has some other different name. I mean, I know what name we're going to give it. You could probably harbor a guess. Hold on. Let me make sure. Who do I want out front? I just want Guppy out front, right? Because Don Fan was, like, Stone Titan. Which means he was rock, which means water, right? I should not read and drive this. Yeah, water's good against rock, yeah. Well, I actually should... In this case, I should probably have one out that is not good against rock, but, like, resistant to rock. Seems like the thing to do for... Well, it's a Pokemon I've never fought before, so... Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Or have I fought you before? I don't think I've fought you before. Um, we'll just hit you with a quick waterfall. Go ahead and get you out of the way. Get a couple XP for that. Not much. I mean, honestly, most of our Pokemon don't require a whole lot to level up. I was checking, um... Alright, let's... Oh, Dune fun! Let's maybe try to not kill this one. Um, just gonna try real quick. Where's the quick ball? Yeah, just try a quick ball. Maybe we'll get lucky. I seriously doubt it, but maybe. Yeah, I figured as much. I'm gonna be honest with you. You knock off. Okay. Buffeted by the sandstorm. The problem is I need to use something that won't completely fucking, yeah. Having Guppy out front was actually probably the wrong decision. Because I don't want to completely just, like, wipe the floor with him. 
I want to use stuff that's going to slowly whittle him down. So, because that's the case, go ahead and use a Polka Doll. Seem to use it. Oh, no. Okay. So, who do I have that I could swap? Super effective, super effective. Wow, I really did just set up my entire team to just be perfect against this guy, huh? Um, I guess, sh well now hold on, before I throw should be ditto out there, Rock is neutral against grass. Okay, and Rock is neutral against water. Cause he is a rock type, right? I'm not crazy. He's ground and, f okay, okay. Ground and fighting. He's not a rock type at all. So ground is, ah, ground is not effective against grass, but it is effective against normal, and it is a grass normal type. Um, but if I remember Jay's lessons correctly, those will balance out. A normal grass type, it'll ba all balance out. Okay, well, that's not great. And I really, really don't want to lose my grass type. Should be dead was damaged by the recoil. Oh, I forgot about that. Stomping tantrum. Does that hurt? Oh, okay. It's not very effective. Okay. Um, I am going to heal you because, as we know, Nuzlocks are all about protection. They're all about defensive moves. Knock off. It's hurt, but it's not a crit. Okay, now that we've hurt you a little bit, we'll use another Ultra Ball. Maybe that's all I needed. Nope, gotta hit you again with Double Edge. But you're using Stomping Tantrum. It's not very effective. Okay, we'll hit you again with Double Edge. Okay. I really gotta hope that... Not very effective. I am gonna hit you with a heal, though. Because I... The last thing I want is for him to pull out... Fucking whatever that first knockoff and have it be a crit and then wipe out should be ditto. Boom, right there. Right there, I told you. Come on, Ultra Ball. Come on, Ultra Ball. Mother! Brick break. Whoa! Jay, you lied to me! You lied to me! How dare you! Um, okay, water and poison. Let's check ground and fighting. Ground is neutral against water. Where's poison? Ground is good against poison. Okay. I need somebody who's not gonna hit him too hard. Who's, he's not going to completely demolish him. What about Ghost? Ground is neutral against Ghost. Fighting is half effective against Ghost. Chip is one of my weak boys, though. Defense stat is lowered when it takes... Okay, so the stat is going to be lowered. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to... Immediately be... Um, like, wiped out. So let's put Chip in and hope that I don't regret this. I just need to hit him once with a foul play just to chip his health down a little bit more. What? Motherfucker, excuse me. Okay, um, what is, ground is not effective against grass, won't hit flying, not effective against bug. Fighting is not effective against poison, but ground is super effective against poison. Man, I really should have... 
I can't run away from these. I cannot run away from these. I'm kind of screwed right now a little bit. I mean, maybe Fin Cushion, because Fin Cushion just has a higher health than Chip. But I'm just not... I just need to hit him with something that's not going to wipe the floor with him. Or maybe even better than that, I'm going to swap Fin Cushion. It. Well, no, hold on, hold on! Fighting not effective against water. Ground not effective against water. Ground super effective against poison. Fighting not effective against poison. So it depends on what move he uses. Um, I gotta throw Guppy back out there. Just to take the hits. I really would rather not lose another Titan Pokemon. But you're making it really difficult to not. You can spend... Okay. I just gotta keep... Okay, let me check the other Ultra Balls. Water or Bug type, the lower the level, such as Caves, species you've caught before. I have caught a Don Fan before. Maybe that would work? I know he's an evolution of a Don Fan, but maybe... No, okay. Yeah. Stomping Tantrum. It doesn't affect Guppy. Okay. I'm just going to throw another Great Ball at it. Or Ultra Ball. Come on, please. Do this for me, please. 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 I'm going to ha- I'm going to fucking lose another Titan Pokemon. Great Ball. Maybe the Great Ball will work where the Ultra didn't. No, not at all. I don't- I can't believe I'm about to lose another- Premier Ball! It's special! This is a special occasion! Oh! It was a special occasion! Hot damn! I didn't lose anybody! That got real risky there for a second! Holy shit! Yeah, I know what his nickname's gonna be. You bet your ass I do. He's gonna be Dumbo. How could it not be? How could it not be Dumbo? Like, for real. Motherfu- Really? How can that be fair? That can't be fair. That shouldn't be fair. Alright, fine, dude. Fine. You wanna do this? You wanna do this? Sure. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, he endured the hit. That's why. Slam, it doesn't affect me. Or I avoided it. Okay. Just use a waterfall. I was going to say, don't get risky now. I, de I definitely should have just run from that fight from the get-go. I should not have had that fight. Okay. Very quickly now. Don't even run back. Just teleport me back so I can heal everybody up. Jesus Christ. My God, that was risky. That was so risky. Why did I... Why did I do that? Jesus. Okay. My God. I'm like panicking. That was so stressful. I can't believe the fucking Premier Ball did it. I can't believe it. Chip, I'm sorry I ever risked you. I'm sorry I ever put you in harm's way. My adorable little chippy boy, I'm so sorry. Gyarados, I'm not sorry. We know you can take it. We know that. Okay. Um, all right. It said Sakurat Trail, which is uh, all the way over here? No. It's technically behind me. Where is Sakura? Isn't it over here? Yeah, Sakurat Trail's over there. So, that's a hike to get to. 
What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, that's going to be a hike to get to. So I should just go to North Province Area 3 and then make my way over there. The good news is I can jump crazy high now and glide. So that's good. Been having some nice battles? Yes, I have. None of which I want to tell you about. Boo doo boo 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 doo. All right, we're just gonna smack it right down over there, just like we did before. It's almost deja vu. Guys, I I gotta be honest with you. In in a in a turn of events that will shock absolutely no one, I continue to have more Game Grumps memes, bits, and songs stuck in my head um, just constantly. Uh, the one that's currently stuck in my head is interesting uh, is from their third uh, whatchamacallit uh, third Space Bear video um, where they had, like, where Space Bear, like, made the music remixes. This is definitely not the way you're supposed to go. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that. Yeah, I'm probably not meant to be over here. I'm gonna guess. Yeah, it's Casa Royal Lake. You know what? Oh, I guess you're our first Casa Royal Lake catch oh no you should not be breaks the mold um i'm gonna go ahead and say given the fact that we are somewhere we're clearly not supposed to be this guy won't count or at the very least when i do go to castle royal lake i'll make sure to look for and catch one of you first how's that sound because i clearly went the wrong fucking way um, but the one that's currently stuck in my head endlessly is from their third, um, Space Bear video, and it's unsurprisingly the best song from that whole video. It's the Forklift Simulator one. It's just like, do 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 Forklift Simulator. All I want to do is just go do 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 Forklift Simulator. That's all I want to do is just hum that to myself over and over endlessly until the end of time wouldn't you if you heard a song as banger as that wouldn't you want to just hum that to yourself until the end of time how many how many guinea ghoul coins do i have now overheat interesting don't know why that would be a move you would want to have your pokemon do intentionally how the hell do i get over there <gasps> rare candy um, who do I, I know who I want to give it to. I want to give it to, use this item, give it to Chip, because I think Chip is even going to, like, evolve soon. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like it's possible. Um, increases their speed stat. I should check and see whose speed stat is lowest before I do that. Uh... 96, 101, 92, 90, 63. Jesus, Chip. All right, let me check the box. Hi, Dumbo. How you doing, buddy? Check summary. Um, 86, 97, 96, 106. Oh, good lord, Quasimodo. What the hell, man? What's wrong with you? Yeah, we're going to give it to Quasimodo. Yeah, for sure we give it to Quasimodo. Uh, oh, do I? That's annoying. I have to move them to my team to give them an item like that. I can't just, like, give it to them. That's kind of annoying. Because then i got to go back. Good news is, though, guys, before we even get to Sakurat Trail, we have two full teams. If we somehow get a full team wipe from everybody who's in our team currently, it will not be the death of us. 
somehow. Okay, l let me check this fucking map again. Because I'm pretty sure this is what happened last time I tried to go, uh, I tried to go there. I was like, this, I don't know where I'm going, this is the wrong way. Can I not, have I not discovered that one? I guess we should discover that one anyway. So let's go discover that one, and that one will probably make it easier to get to, um, Sakurat Trail. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Forklift simulator. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's just forever stuck in my head. Is this what a tick is? God. I really probably do have some of the tism. I don't know what gave it away. The fact that I made a YouTube channel purely so that I could... Whoops. Oh, Sneever. Yes? That's your name? Sneasel. I was close. I was somewhat close. I'll use a hurricane on you. Okay. What if me being dumb right now is how Guppy ends up accidentally being killed? Oh, and you're confused. Well, okay. Uh, what about... I just do that again, then. Hurt yourself in your confusion, please. Okay, I'm less I'm less concerned now than I was a few moments ago. Bye, Sneasel. Well that's another that's another Pokemon in the Pokedex, then. What was I saying? Oh, I might be autistic. Yeah, I think it's maybe because I created a YouTube channel basically with the express purpose of just recording games and sharing them with friends with zero expectation that anyone would actually watch them, but I still decide to put the same amount of effort that I would as if, like, thousands upon thousands of people were watching them. Um, it's probably something to do with it. With that. Maybe, just a little bit. I don't know. I don't want to label myself, because I'm definitely not diagnosed, and I don't want to, like, upset anyone who is diagnosed and who takes that stuff very seriously because i think it should be taken seriously come on back guppy um i think it should be taken seriously and i don't have the money to get diagnosed and i don't even know if i would necessarily want to get diagnosed i don't know why i'm talking about this right now i mean i am playing a pokemon game which if we're being completely honest oh i can let go of the b button Ooh. i mean if we're being honest Pokemon is a series about literally finding your favorite animals, naming them, befriending them, and keeping oh, an attachment of every single one of them without fail. It's one of those spiky snoms. Um, I wonder why autistic people might be attached or, or, or feel the appeal of something like this. I fucking wonder... Oh, I wonder what's in my wonder ball. Bye, fuzzy genitalia bear. No. Okay, yeah, here we go, baby. This is what I'm talking about. We're breaking the system. We're soaring, flying, higher and higher, better and better. I never knew how the song went. <gasps> it's a cave. I want to go see what's in the cave, too. Can I go see what's in the cave as well? Who am I... What am I saying? It's my series. It's my playthrough. We're, if, I'm going to go see what's in the cave if I want to go see what's in the cave. What's in the cave? Oh, was this the actual easy way to get through it? And I just didn't know that. I think that was the case. What are you? You look crazy as hell. All right, Sakurat Trail. We made it. Let's see if this was actually a good idea. You. You're not going to be above level 49, are you? Holy shit! My dude! What the fuck? Why is everybody so crazy leveled? I thought Sakurat Trail was supposed to be level 40 to level 56. Why did I never fucking find anybody over here who's that level? 
Fungus. Did I, have I caught Fungus before? He's a grass poison type. Grass is doubly effective against water. That's great. Poison's not. Okay, well... Me thinks I might want to run from this one and then swap in a better Pokemon. So I'm going to do that. Here, take this. Use the Poke Doll. Yeah, you took you long enough to actually, like, enable that. Okay. Hold the phone here. Hold the fucking phone here. Let's look at the box so no one runs up and attacks us. So, if we do Fungus, Fungus is a grass and poison type. Grass is good against everybody but grass. And, so grass is bad against grass and poison. Grass is good against ground, but bad against flying. And bad against bug. And poison is neutral against flying and bug. So is this... Fluffball, are you poison? Yeah, you're bug poison. Fluffball, I think this might be your time to shine. Let's move Fluffball out here. Um, let's put PB&J Otter away for a little bit. We'll move Fluffball out for at least this specific Pokemon. Let's maybe not get one that's a level 56. Maybe a couple levels lower. Or we get one that's a level 56. Well, first thing I'm going to do is throw out a quick ball and pray to my personal god that this works just please for me holy shit we caught a level 56 pokemon my god hell yeah we should have got more xp than that all right fungus you're our one of them you're one of our first three let's do a, the skunk one but once again we will pause because i saw the skunk in the background Skunky or or skunk Pokemon. What's his name? Skuntank. Okay. Poison and Dark. Poison is bad against poison and bad against ground and bad against rock and bad against ghost. And doesn't do anything against steel. And dark is good against ghost, good against psychic, bad against fighting. Um since steel, since the poison moves won't affect steel at all, and since dark is neutral against steel, um, let's grab our, let's grab old reliable, move slimy out here, toss him in the first place spot, and let's attack a skun tank. I see the evolution right there, and I like seeing the evolutions hidden behind, um, the other ones because it, Damn it, I should have bought more, uh, quick balls. Um, I like seeing the evolutions surrounding them because it tells me, hey, this one's probably going to evolve soon. Okay, yeah, that's, that tracks. Use Memento. That's a poison move. No, that's a dark move. Attack harshly fell, okay. What? Alrighty. Alright, suit yourself. I guess I'll try the next one. That's not a... Uh, that's not still affecting him, is it? No, it's not. Okay, let's just try another Ultra Ball then. It's level 53 this time, so hopefully, maybe, who knows. Nope, couldn't get as couldn't get lucky the second time. Oh, no. No. Holy fucking shit. They have that move? They have that move? What? What the fuck do you mean they have that move? I'll try another... Let's try a Premier Ball. Fuck it, why not? Ultra Balls aren't working for us. Maybe Premiers will. I'm gonna lose my mind at how actually effective the Premier Balls have been when I've decided to use them. Alright. I see the Sudowodo. He's gonna be the next one. Um. Because I saw you standing in the background like a dumbass the whole damn time. What level are you going to be? You're level 56 as well. The lower the level, nights are dark places. 
Um, let's just try an Ultra Ball. And then I see the bug one walking around in the background, so I think that's probably going to have to be... Oh my god! We are... The, my plan to go to, like, grind levels might not happen if I have so many Pokemon that are above level 50, 55. Holy shit! Okay, where's the bug? There you are. Let, let me hold the phone real quick. What is the name of that Pokemon? Beetle Pokemon. Oh, I, I didn't even realize I was looking at the evolution of, um... Skuntank is the evolution. I thought I was looking at the normal version. Um, but Skunk... Stunky is the one that I was looking... Is the one that I wanted to look at. So I'm glad that that apparently didn't change things too bad. Um... Where is that Pokemon? Heracross, that's what it is. He's a bug fighting type. Well, bug is not effective against fire, not effective against fighting or poison or flying or ghost or steel or fairy. Fighting is very effective against steel, very effective against dark, not effective against ghost. So if... If fighting is not effect, fighting won't hit ghost at all, and bug is not effective against ghost, then I should. It might. It sounds like it's Chip's time to shine. Then, so let's throw Chip out there, and we'll go attack this one, because he's off in the distance. I really hope I didn't fuck this up, and end up risking Chip's life. Um. So, he's a bug fighting. So, let's get his health down a little bit. I've got a ghost move, a dark move, and a psychic move. So, psychic, where, where's... Okay, so bug. Uh, fire is super effective. Flying is super effective. Rock is super effective. And then fighting. Flying and psychic are super effective. Dark is not effective. Okay, so if I just hit him, did it say Psychic is super effective against fighting? It is. But Dark is not. So I should hit him with a Shadow Ball, then. Just pin Missile. Oh, right. Fucking weak armor. God damn it. Oh, oh, no! Please stop! Please stop! Don't do this to my boy! No! What do you mean it's not very effective? No! Chip! What the fuck do you mean it's not very effective? What the fuck? How the... God damn it, Chip! You were so fucking cute! But you were the weakest Pokemon. I don't think you actually ever did anything for us at all. You just kind of sat there and were weak. God damn it! You literally had a move called Weak Armor. God damn it! I don't even know what to throw out right now. It can't... Fuck. Okay, bug. Bug is weak against what? Or bug is weak... Fighting, poison, flying... I mean, I guess fluffball then. Because, well, okay, water is... Wa Guppies are water and flying. Fighting is neutral against water. Bug is neutral against water. F uh, fighting is bad against... Okay, so I guess it's Guppy's turn again. 
I don't know why we didn't just leave Guppy out there the entire goddamn time. We were doing so good. So good without a single... Losing a single goddamn Pokemon. I swear, if this Ultra Ball catches this in one swift motion, I'm gonna... Okay. That... I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Hit him with a hurricane. Because now I'm upset. I... Okay. Alright. Um... No. I refuse. I refuse. I'm not losing Guppy. I'm not fucking losing Guppy. Oh, okay. Take me back to... No, where was it? Yeah, take me back to here. I'm gonna buy some Quick Balls, and then I will come back here. And find a Heracross and catch a Heracross. I wish I could have one of the level 56 or whatever that I caught out front uh, up against these guys. Why did I say that so Like... Who is the genius who made this, like, recommended level list? Who said, oh yeah, Sakurat Trail... There's a Pokemon there from level 40 to 56. Like, where's the level 40s? Huh? Where are they? Where the fuck are they? Okay, no, not that many. Just give me, like, five. Five is fine. What is a timer ball? Somewhat effective the more turns that are taken. That could actually be helpful. I'll grab some, one of those. No premiere balls, huh, though? Well, I'm sorry to do this to you, boy. But I guess for the first time in forever, we gotta put somebody in the graveyard. Jesus Christ. I can't fucking believe this. And I didn't... I haven't caught... No, I haven't. Okay. I was gonna say, I haven't caught anybody um, put away held item. Nobody else has any held items, right? Okay. I'm just... I don't think they do. I don't think I gave anybody else any held items. Um... Let's bring fucking Wario out here. Can't put him up against fighting ones, though. Let's do Fin Cushion. Let's bring Fin Cushion out here. Okay. First of all, no. Put Guppy back in the top spot, because fucking... Oh my god. Alright, let's get back there and find another Heracross. Which, I I swear to god, if, if a, a Heracross ends up being what I catch... I will never be able to use him because of the pain and suffering that he dealt to my sweet, my sweet tiny ghost boy. My little ghost boy just living in a coffee cup. Never, never in my life would I ever, con it would be a disadvantage for me to end up with Heracross because I would decide to... I would voluntarily never use him. Because of the spite that I feel deep within my soul. For what he's done to my sweet boy. I'm making you that promise right fucking now. You better hope it's Sudowoodoo or, or fucking... Stunky or... Or... The other one that I caught that I already can't remember the name of. What the fuck was the other one that I caught? I'm actually going crazy that I can't remember what the other one I caught was. What the fuck was that one's name? Oh, Fungus. 
Yeah, I forgot about Fungus. Okay, come on, Heracross. I don't want to catch you, but it seems I have no goddamn choice in the matter. I'm gonna beat this man's ass. I'm gonna beat this man's ass. Use Hydro Pump. Okay, thank Christ. This is what not effective looks like. I know that I'm like seven levels below this guy, but this is what not very effective is supposed to look like. Damn, that Hydro Pump really did jack shit, didn't it? Hmm. Really did, huh? I swear, if he hits me with Pin Missile again... You know what, actually? The rules say that I have- that now I have to catch a Heracross. The rules don't say that I can just leave the battle and come back. We're, we're in Pokemon Scarlet. There's crazy shit going on in this one. You fucking no rules just right. Have it your way. Applebee's. That was wild. That was wild what just happened. All right. Give him another Poke Doll to hold. I kind of wish I could catch that the Terra type one back there that I know about, the one that is hot and has all the Rule Thirty Four of it. I don't know the name of it. Should I just use Hurricane instead? I'm gonna use one more Quick Ball, and if this Quick Ball doesn't work, then I'm just going to start rejoining the battle and using Hurricane since it's super effective. My guy! Fucking what? Should I use a Dusk Ball? Since it's now Dusk? No, I'm gonna run. Once again, like I literally just said, Nuzlocks are about protection. What if I try... What if I find a different Heracross? What if I find a different one? It's still Heracross. But a different one. There were like fucking four of them running around here before. Are there suddenly not anymore? Are there suddenly not anymore? Did you did he disappear? No, he's still there. Okay. Oh no, there's one over there. Let's try this boy. Maybe he'll be more agreeable. The other one was level 53. What are you? Are you gonna be 56? I swear to god if you're 56. No, you're also 53. Okay. We will try a quick ball with you. I know what I fucking just said. But you're different. You're more agreeable, I think. I was right. He's more agreeable. You killed my adorable little cup ghost boy. But you're more agreeable. I did not think we would get a whole fucking episode out of me running around and just catching... Pokemon. I really did not. I thought it would be a lot easier to catch these four to decide which type we're gonna do um, and to catch the Don Fan or the Low Tusk or Dumbo or whatever the fuck his name is. I really thought we were just gonna that was gonna be like the first maybe 15 minutes. But leave it to me to drag it the fuck out. So I guess in the neck in between episodes I'm gonna Grind everybody up to level 56. Everybody who needs it, or level 55, that's just for everybody who needs it. Okay. Let's check the summaries of these boys. So we got a grass poison type. Pretty good. Um, okay. No, change moves is what I want. Toxic. Leaves badly poisoned. Its poison damage worsens every turn. Rage powder. Okay. Solar beam. So, you have one move that does damage. One move. Now, we are late enough in the game that I have an abundance of TMs and can make an abundance of TMs, so I'm not concerned about that. But, 
It is frustrating that from the jump you have one move. Granted, Solar Beam is fucking crazy. You do just have one move. Um, contact with Pokemon may inflict poison, sleep, or paralysis on the attacker. That's very good, though, because anybody who takes a physical swing at Fungus has the potential to fall asleep, uh, become poisoned, or become paralyzed. That being said, Fungus, what is that speed, my dude? What is that speed? You, you can't be serious. Um, okay, next... Stunky, Poison Dark type, a Dark Evolution, which is nice. Uh, by releasing a stench when attacking the Pokemon may cause the target to flinch. That's really good, because that basically means that any move has the potential to make the target flinch, regardless of whether or not the move actually makes the target flinch. Uh, Memento, the user faints and return the targets. Uh, what? This move is useless. This move is useless, unless you're doing a double battle, and we've encountered double battles T once in this game and it was the gym the the uh ghost gym um night slash um slashes the target the instant an opportunity arises this move has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit fine um belch user must eat a hell berry use this move very powerful move but i got to equip him with the berry so it's basically a one-time use a deal and then explosion obviously we would never use this move Obviously, if we ended up with Stunky, this would be literally the first thing replaced. Even before Memento, this would be the first thing replaced. Like, what? Obviously. Okay. Sudowoodoo. A rock type. The tree Pokemon is a rock type. For some reason. Uh, protects the Pokemon from recoil damage. That's really, really good. Uh, low kick we know about. Um, the heavier the target, the greater the move's power. He does not strike me as a super heavy Pokemon. Um, unless there's no where there's nowhere for me to see that. So yeah, he does not strike me as a very heavy Pokemon. Um, counter, we know what counter does. Um, double edge damages the user quite a lot, but not him because he's got the recoil. So that's a very effective combo. Preventing recoil damage with double edge as a move is very effective. Um, same thing with Head Smash. Um, if we did get him, though, I would have to look up what Rockhead... Does Rockhead prevent all recoil damage or just, like, some recoil damage? It would be something to consider. We'd have to think about it. Because if it only protects from some recoil damage, not all, we might as well just get rid of Double Edge and Head Smash then. Um, actually, now that I say that out loud, let me just look it up. Pokemon Scarlet Rockhead... Rockhead effect in Pokemon with this ability. Um, takes no recoil damage from recoil damage causing effects. Okay, so that's an extremely powerful combination with Double Edge and Head Smash. So Sudowoodoo might be... Sudowoodoo seems like our best bet right now. Um, and then Heracross, my arch nemesis. Uh, Swarm powers up bug type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Um, Pin Missile, Throat Chop, Thrash, and Sword Dance. We know what all those do. Sword Dance we didn't, but... Um, yeah. Um, none of these are pr particularly great or stand out a lot. Throat Chop we know. Wario has Throat Chop. Would it be nice to have a Pokemon that doesn't fall asleep every other move with Throat Chop? Absolutely, but Necessity? No. Um, I still think our best bet right now is Sudowoodoo, um, mostly for the combination of the Double Edge, Head Smash, and Rock Head. Um, if I get Heracross, we might as well end the run right now, and Fungus and Stunky are not immediately great. They could be great with some time, but they don't immediately strike me as, like, the best possible options. Stunky better than fun Fungus, but still... Sudowood was my top choice. So let's roll of the dice and see what we get. The dice gods are kind to me. It's almost as if Chip dying was... This is an apology for Chip dying, almost. Because they gave me the good one. Fucking get the hell out of here, Heracross. No. Get the hell out of here, Heracross. Um, 
I have no idea what we would even begin to name Sudowoodoo. Um... What's the name? Hold on. What is this thing's name? Gotcha. Okay. Figured out the name. Gonna be super nerdy. Our Sudowoodoo is named Treebeard. Get it? Because he's a tree? Hell yeah. So now we're back up to having two full teams of six. Unfortunately, we did have to say goodbye to somebody in this episode. It was a nice stretch of not having any deaths, but maybe that's knock on wood, that's knock on tree beard right there. That this is the last potential death we see in this Nuzlocke. So, in between episodes, I'm going to get everybody into le up to level 55, and then we're going to begin the next episode with everybody at level 55 to take on the false dragon titan. That way, after we defeat the False Dragon Titan, we can go back and catch it, and then we'll have one more Pokemon to go up against the Fairy and Fighting Crew with. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, on that note, thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful! Thank you guys for sticking with me, hanging out, being with me to mourn some of our losses through this rough and tumble adventure we call the Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.